okay guys in this python tutorial we're going to be, to be talking about an interesting topic in python called python function before going any further don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when i upload new coding videos without further ado let's go What's Python function? Python function is a block of code that allows you to perform a specific task. It saves a lot of time while programming because you don't really need to start writing um, same code when you want to perform a specific task. You just write a function for it and the function helps you perform the task anytime it's called. Okay, let's say you want to create a function that, um, that greets an individual. Okay, First of all, you introduce a function with the keyword def okay give name of your function grid with user function you open a tuple place your you place your parameters parameters um, are tools in the hands of function that expands the abilities of your function okay this uh great user function is going to be accepting just one parameter called name okay place it in the tuple then we print uh, a message that our function is going to as output when we call it okay 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 we're going to be getting the user hello 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 name convert the name to a title case all will be within the function okay now i want this okay let us call out our great user function Use that function okay what's the name one want to create now let's say you want to get uh martin okay just place just one argument within the within the topo within the grid user um function place one uh, argument that's the name of the person you want to greet when you want this you see hello martin has been created out you don't you don't necessarily have to start typing uh uh start typing this same code again anytime you want to greet any user just Call out the greet user function, place the name of the person you want to greet. Let's say you want to greet um okay. let's say you want to greet James. Okay. When I want this, you see here, you don't have to have to start typing the code. Just call your greet user function, place the name you want to greet there. Okay, let us expand the abilities of our function. Remember when I told you guys that to exp expand the ability of your function, you have to place more parameter. Okay, let us create a new function. This time we are going to introduce it with the with the keyword def. This time we are going to be calling it great user foo. Okay, because this function is going to be accepting two parameters. First is the first name. First name. First name. And okay, second. And you know, and the last. My last name. This function is going to with uh, the user's uh, first and second name okay point okay point uh, hello concatenate it to first name first name and um, give a white space this all within our function then last name that's our part so quite a package so okay when i run this and i and i call our grid user full function out grid user full function out when i call it out which name i'm going to be getting now okay See James and okay, um, Michael. Okay, when I want this, you see here. Yeah? This is what our our good user full function output. Hello, James Michael. Oh, oh, oh. you see here. Yeah? This are this is what our good user full function output. It outputs it greets the user's first and last name. It concatenate both of them together and greet the 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 full name of the individual and there's something you must also learn in in python function 
Python in, in Python parameters. This um this parameter here are all are ordered. Let me demonstrate what I'm trying to say. Let's say we want to create a function that um let's say we want to create a function that describe describe our pet. Want to create a function that describe our pet. Okay. This are describe function we we um we take two parameter to pet first will be the pet type first will be pet type pet type yes why the second why the second will be the um pet name okay when I when I okay you have set parameter the pet type and the pet name the message we are, we are going to be printing now should be okay what we'll be printing okay. okay i i have a okay pet type pet type pet type okay the next the next um the next um message we're going to be putting out should be uh, my pet okay my pet's name is okay pet name okay when i run this and uh I just want to describe a dog. Okay, describe. Call out our function. Describe pet. We provide the parameters which we need in the pet type, which is dog. Dog. And um, the pet name. Okay, let us see our pet name is Jack. Okay, our pet name is Jack. When I run this, you see here I have a dog. My my pet's name is Jack. Oh, let us make this a lot more readable. Let us see. Let us do some, um, yeah, do something. Let us. see my dog my dog name name okay what is now you see here yeah? I have a dog my dog name is Jack other than this matters in this um to parameter if I were to change the the otherness and I place my pets um uh, my pet's uh, name first instead of my pet type okay you see jack and my place my pet name my pet type now dog and i run this out it, it will add put a very funny statement i have i have a jack my jack name is dog you see so by other in uh in 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 function parameter is very important you have to order your your you have to order your your parameters if uh, you have a lot of parameter and you don't know the um the otherness of the parameter you just have to place there's another method you use you just have to place um the let's say the the parameter in your uh, to the argument just like this but set the set the uh, set the set the the parameter to the to the argument okay. pet now what do we need the pet name and the pet type i want this now you see here yeah, i have a dog and my dog name is jack so that's how you use python function thanks for watching this video don't forget to like 
subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more coding and programming video and if there's any part of this video you don't understand don't forget to drop it in the comment section below i will reply to all your comments within 24 hours okay thanks